Okay, we're still talking about rules for division, and now we'll talk about division and the number zero. You should know that zero divided by any number is zero. So, just some quick examples. Zero divided by one is zero. Zero divided by seven is zero. Zero divided by x is zero, and that's true for any number, any number x. Zero divided by 3a squared times pi will be zero. Zero divided by anything is equal to zero. Now any number divided by zero, take note here, we're dividing by zero, that's different. This means having the zero in the denominator. And here we say any number divided by zero is undefined. Or if you try this on the calculator, you'll probably get an error. If you try to do 5 divided by 0, the answer here we say is undefined. And what we mean by that is that this operation, division by 0, is not even defined mathematically. We have a definition for subtraction, we have a definition for division, those sorts of things. We have a mathematical definition for multiplication. But dividing by zero isn't, isn't even defined mathematically. It's not something that mathematicians even attempt to do. It's not allowed. And most calculators will give you an error. If you actually type in five divided by zero, they'll return some kind of error. Some of them will say just error, or some might say division by zero error, but it doesn't work. So know those two things. If the zero is on top, the answer will always be zero. If the zero is on the bottom, you can't do it. You say the, the, the answer, there, there is no answer. You could write no solution, or you could just say it's undefined, meaning that this operation, dividing by zero, is undefined. Okay, it's also interesting to note that division is not commutative, and it's not associative. And these facts are easy to demonstrate. Watch this. 6 divided by 3, what is that? Well, it's 2. And what's 3 divided by 6? Well, 3 divided by 6 is 1 half. So we see the order matters. 6 divided by 3 isn't the same thing as 3 divided by 6. And the same thing uh, shows up. We get different answers when we do association. Watch this. 16 divided by 4 divided by 2. How we group the numbers here matters. If we do 16 divided by 4 and do that divided by 2, we'll get a different answer than if we do 16 divided by this, 4 divided by 2. We'll work each of these out. 16 divided by 4, doing what's in parentheses first here, 16 divided by 4 is 4, so I have this divided by 2. 4 divided by 2. And you know what that is. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now over here we have 16 divided by this thing. And this thing is 4 divided by 2. That thing is simply 2. 4 divided by 2 is just 2. So we have 16 divided by 2. So let's write it like that. 16 divided by 2. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. And we take note that these answers aren't the same. Grouping them one way gives us a different answer than if we group them the other way. So division is not associative. Division is not commutative or associative. Or in other words, when you are dividing, the order matters.